From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Jets. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now Hall to start the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first and 10, it's Hall to about the 48-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Now it's Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he's taken down inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. Here's a second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Now Rodgers. He gets it underneath to Hall. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 12-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Back to the ground with Hall. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there.
Rodgers going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Aaron Rodgers taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Pal to the air on first and 10. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Being chased out left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Second down, Hal now. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Hal trying to pick it up on third. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's going to have a commander's first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. throwing on first down here back to Gibson and another catch for him and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 now the commander is going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And Howe will throw it. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Two yards to go, second down. Another throw for Howell. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. 
<laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing at the break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Straight ahead, Gibson. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And the defense, they get to Howell. He'll go down here. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. 
On second down, a run with Hall. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll toss it out right here to Hall. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Hall again. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. On play action. Now Rodgers. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they get five there on third and two. of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw, Rodgers, and that is incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half, and I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. This is first and ten. Powell to throw. Pass complete, Thomas. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. And nothing to speak of there after the catch as they get him right to the ground at the 37. In a two-minute drill, we often talk about taking care of the football, but sometimes it's just a matter of who wants it more. How about him going up top on a 50-50 ball and taking it away for a big play? Here's first down. Here's Howell. Gets this to Gibson, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 
It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They'll come up now, second and nine. Back to throw. Finding Gibson on the slam. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. No timeouts left. Of course, the defense knows that, too. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. And, oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Ah, oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Back to throw. He's going to air this thing out deep for Thomas. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Oh, and this is nervous time now. They decided to go for it right there. Fortunately, still a little bit of time left for another shot, but this one almost certainly has to be in the end zone. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and 10. Howell with one final shot. Slings this deep from McLaurin. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.